Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Today, look at this great big 22 ounce bomber. Guys, this is uh, Lagunitas Brewing's uh, coffee stout. They're calling it their Willitized coffee stout. And guys, I did uh, did this beer last year, uh, the 2017 edition of it. And it was in a little 12 ounce bottle then. And now they, and I think originally it was in the big bottle like this and they downsized it <clears throat> to the 12 ounce bottles. And now this year, uh, I got this from them. They sent it to me and it's back into the 22 ounce. Uh, uh, maybe they're doing both. I'm not sure guys whether they're doing the big bombers and the uh, 12 ounce uh, bottles too. I'm not sure. Uh, so uh, it is what it is. Uh, I do appreciate them sending it to me. And last year when I done this beer guys I was very impressed. And I fussed a little bit by not being able to see their black ink on here with a dark beer in there. Well, they're still doing that. Of course, the label says it's a 2018 edition. So, I don't know exactly when in 2018 they actually put it in the bottle. <clears throat> that may be uh, in the code uh, on the bottle or a date, which you cannot see with the beer in there. So, uh, we'll take a look when I come back and see if I can see it on the bottle. But it is the 2018 edition according to the label and and technically that's basically all you need to know on a 12.9% almost 13% <clears throat> Got a dry spot in my throat. We're getting ready to fix that though uh, On almost a 13% coffee stout. The thing about that is it's a coffee stout and you don't want the coffee to fade so if they did this and January of 2018 or July or exactly when <clears throat> that's going to determine whether uh, whether you're going to get super big coffee notes or the coffee is going to fade a little bit over time so <clears throat> that being said let's get on with it if I can talk oh man <coughs> excuse me uh says here I highly limited 100 uh, willing to tie a series will it tie coffee stout is coming back just in time for our fireside swigging and sweater sipping and uh, today is New Year's Day happy new year to everybody time you see this so it's, it's gonna be past uh, I'm, uh, I'm about a week ahead so with that being said uh, I hope 2019 is a little better for me than uh, uh, December of 2018 especially with everything happening with my heart and now uh, I haven't told anybody you know, on YouTube yet my knee has gone back out the one they did a replacement on it's only been two years so I don't know what's going on so I got to go back to the orthopedic doctor uh, next week so uh, it's just one thing after the other it sucks getting old Anyway, it says here our friends at Kentucky Zone Willet Distillery have one kind of barrel, which is wood, and they put two things in it, bourbon and rye. We were fortunate enough to get some of the rye barrels, and we put our pure coffee stout in, in them. It's a chocolatey, coffee, smoky, oaky, rye beast. So, uh, it says here 12%, and it's actually all, almost 13, 12.9, in a 22-ounce bomber. Willitize is meant to be shared and or aged or not, whatever. For more information on the beer, check out their website. So, basically, that's the same commercial description that I'm getting on uh, Untapped. Uh, so, but they also have 35 IBUs on uh, on un Untapped, and they have it listed as the 2018 edition, where Beer Advocate does not differentiate it. Oh, all in the same category so uh, I do uh, 
I do like untapped photographs. I'll be straight up honest with you. They uh, differentiate between years a lot of times, most of the time, and uh, give us a little bit more pertinent information to the beer you're actually drinking instead of clamping them all together uh, in one category when the ABV varies a lot of times. So with that being said, that's all we need to talk about. So we're going to stop talking and start pouring. And uh, since this is a big bomber, we're going to share and like I said, guys, when I had this last year, I was super impressed. Uh, so I'm hoping I'm just as impressed on this year's edition. We're going to go right down the center here, guys. Unless it starts developing a monster head, which I kind of doubt will happen. Well, I'll slow down just a little bit on the back end. So uh, coming up a little bit more. Uh, about a finger and a half of head on that pour. Guys, it looks really, really nice. Uh, all uh, white khaki colored head on that. Nice tight bubbles. A little bit bigger bubbles on the top side from that aggressive pour. And over to the light, guys, I'm not getting any at all. It is pitch black. Very dark beer in the glass. So, good looking beer. To the nose we go. Getting rich roasted malt. Getting hints of the rye whiskey barrels. A little bit of bittersweet chocolate. The uh, the whiskey uh, barrel is not overpowering anything really, but it's cold out of the fridge. That may intensify, or as it warms up. A little bit of uh, caramel toffee, molasses. Maybe even a hint of some dark fruit in there. It's got a, a very nice. It's got a very very nice aroma, guys. Maybe a little woodiness and vanilla. Smells pretty good, guys. Uh, I'm thirsty. How about you? Got a dry spot in my throat. Let's alleviate that. Cheers, everybody. <clears throat> oh, that's very nice. Very well made. That is a very, very well-made beer right there. And again, I will reiterate what I said. This particular version of the beers is really impressive from Lagunitas. Maybe even getting a little coconut in there, too. Well... Wow. Very, very, very nice, guys. Well, let me sip on this and let it warm up. Pour her a glass and we'll come back and uh, uh, find out where it ends. Impressive beer. All right, guys, I'm back. Been sipping on it for a while now. Nice lacing is left on the glass. Uh, looked at the bottle when I come back. 323, the 323rd day of 2018 is what's on the black ink. Uh, so they're still using that Julian code instead of a month, day, and a year. But if you're been doing beers as long as I have you can figure out that code fairly easy the only fuss I've got you cannot see that code with the beer in the bottle I don't understand that I wish they would do it with a different color ink so you could see it uh, but it is what it is uh, they continue to do that and that's the biggest fuss I've got about their beers that they do that on the dark beers and even with a regular beer like an IPA or an, a double IPA it's very very hard to see that code with the beer in the bottle that's the biggest reason why these guys don't get tens from me on their beers you cannot see that code at all with the beer in the bottle I don't understand that biggest reason why I do not buy their beers anymore because I can't see their date codes with the beer and still in the bottle it is what it is until they change it to some other color ink that you can see with the beer in the bottle they will not get to 10 from me even if it is a 10 beer which I think this is pretty damn close to being a 10 beer it's not going to get it because you can't see that code with the beer in the bottle so uh, it is what it is guys I mean I just don't understand that why they cannot change the color of their ink they refuse to do that. So I refuse to give them the 10 grade, even if it is a 10. So with that being said, this, like I said, uh, last time I did this beer last year, it is an awesome beer. It is an outstanding beer. 
and I do enjoy it and I would buy that beer this beer if they would change the color of their ink so I could see when it was put in the bottle 323 what is that November probably November since 365 30 40 50 end of October somewhere in November on this beer putting being put in the bottle so I did enjoy it it is a very very tasty beer guys final joke probably one of my favorites from these guys the uh, Willow Tides coffee stout is a very very tasty beer I don't get a lot of coffee in this beer if it's there it's very subtle and that may be because of if it was done at the end of October November December and we're into January the coffee may have faded a little bit or a lot I don't know how much coffee they were intending to have in the taste of the beer but the coffee is so subtle you, you would not know it and, then, and they have that written in big letters on the front of the label that it is a coffee stout there are a ton of coffee beers out there that have more coffee in them than this one does so uh, maybe it's a barrel aging process on top of that uh, if the coffee is faded while it's in the barrels there are other breweries that do beers that are coffee that are aged that the coffee is still more prominent than this one is to me but, like I said, it is what it is. I find it very enjoyable. If you're looking for a coffee beer, there are a lot of others out there that have more coffee in it than this. So, with that being said, guys, to me, I'm going to give it to 9. Uh, 95 is where I'm going to put this one because the coffee is, is basically faded out to me uh, during the barrel age process. And however long it's been in the bottle and now here in January, close to three months old. Uh, so, eh. It is what it is, guys. 95 for me. Let's run over to Bear Advocate. Bear Advocate says 4.29. That's also in their, uh, I mean, uh, A category. I said B, I think. Uh, it's it's an A beer. And it's an A beer from these guys. See, they say it's outstanding. And over for our final check-in and untapped, they have it at 4.24. Also an A category beer as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so it's an A beer all the way around, guys. If you've had this one, this is the 2018 edition of the Willow Tides Coffee Stout from Lagunitas. Let me know what you think. Uh, I did enjoy this. Uh, I just wish they would do something different on their color coding on the bottom. So if you've had it, let me know what you think, guys. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.